So first thing we're going to do is over here in the kind of effects window. And if this isn't showing up, you click the little effects icon right here. And under titles, we're going to come down, just click the, the big folder here. And when you see this text plus, this is going to allow us to do some things in Fusion uh, that we wouldn't be able to do with just the basic text. So let's grab text plus. Let's put it out here. And we just have this, you know, custom text, not very... Uh, very special or anything going on here, but just the plain text over here. And so you've done this before. I'm sure you've added this to the, to the project or the timeline. And over here, you'll see the different uh, settings that you'll have be able to use. I'm going to bring that down uh, so you can see all the settings here. And this is an easy way to just keyframe. And, I, and I'll just show you, like, if you wanted, let's say, that text just to zoom throughout the, you know, zoom in and zoom out, like, from one side to the other, you could come over here and you could uh, adjust, uh, you know, these things, but you could also adjust, like, the layout. So if we were to just change this to frame and we were, right now it's in the center of the frame. So let's move the playhead out here kind of in the middle about... A second in and let's keyframe because we want it to come into the center and uh, then let's drag that back to the beginning and say we want it to fly in from that side and then it just came off so now when we come over here and we see this and we hit play you can see it animate in so that's a simple way of getting things to animate uh, on the screen is just to do it there. But I'm going to show you a way to do it where you can do some different customization. You can add word, you know, each word can come in or even each letter can come in at a different time. And we're going to do some keyframe interpolation, which will add easing in and easing out and things like that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to backtrack here and take away those two keyframes. So now there's no animation on this text. Obviously, you can change this text to whatever you want through here. But I'm going to have you look at this little icon over here on the side. That is going to send this into Fusion. So don't get scared of Fusion. This is going to be real simple. So click that button. It's going to take you over to the Fusion page, and you're going to see your custom title here. Again, there's no animation. So this is just kind of just static text. You can do everything that you could do on the edit page. You can do over here as well. Um, but we're going to we're going to do a couple different things. One, let's do what we just did. So let's say let's go up to what 20. I don't know if this is 24 frames, I think, or something like that. So let's uh, do the same thing we did in the layout. You can also do it in transform uh, offset, but we'll do layout just like we did. We'll put a keyframe there and you'll notice on this timeline right here, there's a little line. That's the keyframe. Go back to zero. Let's throw this off the screen again. And then as we hit play. It animates on. Perfect. It's doing the same thing, but let's say we want to an animate that to have smooth, uh, you know, stop instead of just stopping really harshly. What we can do is we can open up up here. There is a spline and a keyframe uh, window. So the keyframe is going to show you the, the, you know, the keyframes that are on there. And the spline will show you the graph of those keyframes. So we'll just click template. This has... Um, that's our kind of template text that we brought in and I clicked it the checkbox But nothing shows up come over here to this little box icon and click it and that'll Kind of zoom in to where the keyframes are on the timeline and as you can see it's just a straight line There's no curve. So it's just starting and stopping at 100% speed um, So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in here You can hit command a to select all keyframes or you can just specifically select and hold shift to get those two keyframes if you have multiple keyframes. But once they're selected, just anywhere in the graph, right click and then go up to ease. And then you can do a few things. Um, cubic is kind of like the easy ease type stuff or ease in, ease out. So you can just ease in. So that means ease into the motion or ease out of the motion or you can ease in and out. So if I click this, you're going to see this S curve. And now when we go back and play, if you watch the screen, it's going to come out and it's going to slow down. It's not going to be at a, a really sharp stop. But if we were going to maybe do something a little different where we want it to quickly come in and slow down at the end, we would do ease out cubic. And so what that's going to do is it's going to go quickly come into the screen and then slow down, stop. Like that. So that's how quickly and easily you can adjust your animation of your keyframes to see the text come in and out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to um, move the take away the spine, spline window. I'm going to remove these keyframes on that. And so now again, it's just a static text. Okay. 
and I'm going to show you how to add a modifier, a follow modifier, to be able to adjust the uh, animation of individual characters or, or things like that. So what we're going to do is here in the text window, we're going to right click and we're going to come down to follower. And that is going to add a modifier. The modifiers can be adjusted up here next to the tools icon. Tools are just the standard tools that come with the text. Modifiers will be anything we add to modify that text. So we added a follower modifier. So on here, we can have all characters where it's an automatic order. You know, we can say left or right if that's how we want them to animate in. And then the delay is key for, uh, you know, something a little bit later. I'm not going to change it right now. We're going to leave it at zero. Uh, and then come over. You got the text that you can change the text here again. Um, and then the transform, uh, you have characters. So if we're going to animate the characters coming in, you can animate them here. Uh, in this area, you can also come in to shading, and this is where you can animate uh, opacity. So let's go to that 24 second mark and click one on opacity and then go to zero. Let's drop that to, drop that to zero. So now the opacity comes on over that second. And with these keyframes, the same thing, you can come in here, you can click opacity, and uh, we can add a easy ease to those opacities. So maybe we want to, to shoot in uh, quickly like we did before or uh, do an S curve, you know, whatever we want to do. So we're going to say out cubic and then that way it's going to quickly kind of come in and slow down the opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the opacity animation real fast because I want to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm animating. So now that we have one keyframe, but uh, it's going to stay full opacity while we're doing this. So let's go to that 24 frame and let's come over here to transform. Any adjustments you make in the transform window will not do anything until you have keyframes. It won't you won't be able to see what's going on. Um, so let me make a keyframe here at 24. It's going to create a path uh, modifier, but we're going to double click back on the follower so we can keep all the animations and keyframes and settings together. And that path animation will do things behind the scenes. So uh, then we're going to drag this back to zero. And now we're going to move this so we can move that over here off to the side like we did before. And when we hit play, it's doing the exact same thing that we did before. But this gives us some options. So one, let's go ahead and edit the spline. So we're going to come in here and I'm just going to have the uh, displacement on. So I'm going to click this and you're going to see these two keyframes we just made. And I'm going to go up to ease and make it ease out kind of like we did before so that it's going to quickly come in and slow down. So now that we have that there, we can do a couple things. One, we can add back that animation for the opacity. So, but I'll do that a little bit later. The second thing, let's take this spline window out. The second thing we can do is uh, come in here and go back to the timing and add some delay. So let's say we'll just do one, um, one frame delay. So what's going to happen is, and we have it left to right. So since we're coming in from the left, let's do right to left. Um, so what's going to happen is that that E is going to come in before and then it's going to kind of animate like that slowly. So obviously, if you're writing, you probably want it to come in the other way. Um, so we, you can quickly make that adjustment by coming back to the transform. We'll go back to the beginning and we're going to just move this all over to the other side. That way it's writing in the way we write our words left to right. Um, so again, we'll have to make this left to right. You can also do automatic and it'll do a good job of that as well. Um, as, it, as, it, as you scrub in, it'll kind of just come in one by one. So let's start that and you hit play. And you can see that animate in nicely with the text. And so what doing a modifier, the follow modifier helps with is your ability to do a bunch of animation settings. So in the transform, I can do size. So I did I did motion and our position. So now I can do the size difference. So if I come over to <clears throat> the 24, 24th frame and let's just say we're going to change the, the size here, go back. And let's say we want this to be a little bit smaller. So we'll just say 0.5 on both of these. So now when you come in, it's going to get bigger as it comes in. So you can see I've all the animation is coming in and adjusting to all those things. Now you're going to have to go in and you're going to, you know, do um, interpolation on all these keyframes. So right now that purple, which is the displacement or the position has the interpolation, but our um, our X and Y axis do not. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in here 
and then we're going to add that same uh, animation out cubic. You can do different ones. You can custom whatever you want to do, um, and that's just going to give it a nice little um, animation feeling so that it's not super abrupt when it does things. And then we can go back to the shading here. Let's turn those off and just see the opacity. Uh, click that button to get that and that keyframe back. Let's go back to the beginning and we're going to make that zero opacity. Right. And then click this again. And then we are going to add a little curve to that animation as well. So then now we have the opacity adding animating it as as well. So you can just kind of have that you know, modifier here, the follow modifier to be able to do things really quickly, easily with any text that you make, you can do any font. This is a quick and easy way to do animations with your text in DaVinci Resolve. And if you want to learn a little bit more about DaVinci Resolve, you can click the video right here and it will walk through all the different uh, pages and kind of default settings from a beginner standpoint for DaVinci Resolve. If you really want to dive deeper and you're beginning in DaVinci Resolve, watch that video. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.